What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So as we all know, one of the big new changes that came to both the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus were some upgraded cameras. But across the two devices, the cameras that you get are vastly different. The iPhone 7 packs a 12 megapixel shooter at f1.8 aperture with phase detection autofocus, optical image stabilization, which used to only be for the Plus, and quad LED flash, a nice upgrade from the previous generation. The iPhone 7 Plus, on the other hand, has not one upgraded camera, but two, and that's what I wanted to focus on in this video. The iPhone 7 Plus certainly isn't the first phone with a dual camera setup. We've seen it on the LG G5 and V10, Huawei P9, and others, but this is the first time Apple has ventured into this realm. The idea behind the dual camera setup is this. You get two different 12 megapixel cameras, a 28mm f1.8 lens with optical image stabilization, and a 56mm f2.8 telephoto lens with 2 times optical zoom. Now even though you essentially get two different cameras, they work together side by side all at once in an attempt to take the best picture possible given the circumstances. When you take a picture, both lenses fire off and the iPhone combines the best parts from both cameras, fusing them together into one picture. This blending of photos is also thanks to a new image processing chip as well. In the real world, the dual camera system has a lot of practical uses. Obviously, when taking pictures in general, the photos from the standard 12 megapixel camera look great. The standard 12 megapixel camera is as good of a camera as you'd expect on any iPhone. You get a wide array of colors, great detail, but I'll save that stuff for a full camera review. What really comes in handy with this whole setup though is really that other lens, the telephoto lens. First, like I mentioned, you get two times optical zoom, which is a first for the iPhone. That means that the actual lens itself is doing all the work, not any software, which leads to a great set of wide and zoomed photos. You lose little to no detail using the optical zoom and picture quality is still outstanding. You can also use the telephoto lens's optical zoom when taking a video too, and it works just as seamlessly. You could essentially film a full video using the optical zoom, and you probably wouldn't know the difference. It's that good. No loss in detail, very little noise, the only negative is the fact that the telephoto lens doesn't have optical image stabilization, so your 2 times zoom videos will be pretty shaky. Of course, you still have up to 10 times digital zoom, but use that at your own risk. That tends to make pictures look a little rough. While I spent a lot of time talking about the telephoto lens, it's important to be reminded that both the standard and telephoto lens continually work together with every picture that you take. The iPhone takes elements of pictures that both cameras take, combines them together, and produces the best picture possible. It can sort of be suggested that the iPhone 7 Plus camera setup is the iPhone 7 with the additional telephoto lens added on, but the software and hardware upgrades make it that all-in-one experience. Are two lenses better than one? It's tough to say, but in this case, I think you do get some benefits. Is having the dual camera setup enough of a reason to get the 7 Plus over the standard 7? I'll let you all decide that for yourselves. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts on the dual camera setup on the iPhone 7 Plus in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.